This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by MyHouseCleaningBiz.com, the online community for residential cleaning business owners. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. We have a lot of discussions every week in our member forums at thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And sometimes a great piece of advice is given for a common problem many cleaning business owners face. One of the problems I see often is when cleaning business owners find themselves defending the price of their cleaning service. We have a member that recently asked about this very problem. She is a client that has gotten price quotes from a couple different cleaning services for a much lower price than what she's currently paying. Now, our member is charging $25 an hour for this account, which in her market is a very competitive rate with very little wiggle room to lower the price and still make a profit. Well, it turns out the quotes the client received were from individuals who are lowballing the legitimate cleaning companies. Now in the residential cleaning industry, they're commonly referred to as trunk slammers. So the cleaning business owner proceeded to explain to her client about all the pitfalls of hiring individuals who are not legally doing business in an attempt to defend her very reasonable price for cleaning service. But the client still decided to go with the cheaper priced cleaning lady. So what's a person to do? Well, a very wise business owner offered some great advice. She said that in the future, avoid getting into a long explanation about how much it costs you to clean. So for example, explaining the high cost of insurance, the cost of bonding, the cost of workers' compensation, and employee taxes, and on and on. Because even though the insurance piece can be a big headache for the client down the road, right now, she really doesn't care about all that. She's just attracted by the lower price. So instead of defending your price by explaining what all you're paying for, try taking a different approach. Say something like this. I provide my clients with professionally trained and thoroughly screened workers and a service that is well insured should anything happen on your property. You see, my clients aren't looking for the cheapest deal. They want quality and security, so they're willing to pay a little extra for that benefit. It sounds like we're probably not a good fit for you as you really need a lower price service. Do you see the difference? You're actually making it her fault, not yours, that she doesn't value quality and security over price. And notice that by saying it this way, you're not doing it overtly, you're just subtly implying it. If you take the first approach by getting defensive and explaining your costs, then she's equating your problem of high costs with her rate. Instead, she needs to be reminded that she gets the benefit of using a service like yours, and your price is not that much more, so you're worth it. This is a firm but polite reminder that will get those that really do value quality and security to rethink their position. And for those that are just looking for cheap deals, good riddance. And something else to keep in mind when dealing with these clients. Keep it professional and keep it non-emotional. If you let them strike a nerve with you, it'll show when you start getting defensive. Let them know that the perfect client fit for you is one that truly values quality and security. Now I'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic. Have you ever tried this approach when your clients bring up the price issue? Or do you have other ideas that have helped you retain your clients regardless of a lower price competitor? Please share your comments by posting below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you're looking for additional help with starting or growing your residential cleaning business, MyHouseCleaningBiz.com is the place for people who are pursuing their dreams of owning a successful cleaning business. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at CleaningBiz.tv. See you next time.